This is an experiment, a test. Uh, I downloaded an app that uh, allows me to have myself in a little window here while, um, while I'm viewing something else on the other side of the camera. Uh, this isn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to go back and forth, flip it around, but uh, this will do for the moment. Um, when I was out doing fill for the past few years, uh, people commented on my bass rig because they would see uh, my speakers set up on stage and there was a little power amp on the uh, sitting on the speaker. And I think this started on the first Final Farewell Tour. And uh, I started telling people that this was uh, a Russian power amp from back in the 50s uh, that is very, very hard to get anymore. And the tubes are almost impossible to get. But it's a thousand watt mono little power amp. And people were like really going through lots of changes trying to figure out what kind of an amp this was. And it became almost an underground thing. So I wanted to show you the amp. And I have it right here. This is the amp. I think Munch got it for me in a uh, in a truck stop, and it's. It's a uh, $12 little AM radio, but boy, did it take on a life of its own on the road. Um, people were really trying to suss this one out, and it became a great mystery. So the mystery is solved for any of you who are <laughs> wondering about it. It's a little piece of crap from a truck stop that cost about $12, and then I would turn it on on stage and light those tubes up. So I'm just going to try posting this and see if this uh, this works. We just finished a really great Zoom with Nicole Sadler on her show with the band. And, um, and now I'm waiting for Denny Tedesco to get to my house to film my um, the first interview for the immediate family documentary film so uh, of the band. So here we go. I'm going to shut this off and see if this even works. You never know.